Hey guys, welcome to episode number 114 of Good or Garbage, the number one place where you can find out what stuff is being sold in a division on a weekly basis. And this week has to be one of the worst garbage resets that I've ever seen. Uh, but, you know, just to let you guys know, there is something in the heads up section I'd like you to take a look at. If you need determined, there is a liberator being sold with predatory and determined, just as a heads up. Now, also, I wanted to give a special shout out to the the homie John Barra in Tokyo. Uh, he has an Instagram and a YouTube. He's trying to do his thing. So I wanted to give him some uh, a shout out, show him some love. And also I wanted to show some love to Excalibur Game, another one of the homies that has been on streams uh, quite a bit lately and uh, showing these guys some love. And I also wanted to say thank you to all of you. We're finally over the 7,000 subscriber mark. So thank you guys for all the support. Show some support to the homies and let's go. All right, now let's move on to the attachments for this week. At East 42nd Street, we have the extended mag being sold with 116% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 5.1% rate of fire increase. If you've been looking for an extended mag with a rate of fire increase, and you don't mind taking uh, the critical hit damage over critical hit chance, this could be good for you if you're using an SMG, then go ahead and check it out. Faster rate of fire means more bullets down there, which means you could probably kill your enemy a whole lot faster. So if you're looking for this, head on over to East 42nd Street and check it out. At the Dark Zone vendor in DC Vive, we have the Omega Rifle Suppressor being sold with 18% headshot damage, 2.5% stability, 4% critical hit damage, and 50% reduced threat. Now, this is nowhere near the God Roll. Um, yeah. yeah, this thing would have to be crit hit chance somewhere in here, and then we'd need another 0.5% for headshot damage. Uh, the reduced threat is nice at 50, 4% critical hit damage is good, but stability, eh, yeah. But I guess as a placeholder, this isn't too bad. Uh, if you are looking for something like this, head over to the vendor at DZ5 and check it out. Just as a little side note, there's a high velocity mag being sold. I put this in the uh, heads up section. Uh, the problem with this, even though the crit chance is high and the crit damage is nice, uh, the problem is that it's magazine size instead of rate of fire, but you know, that is what it is. But uh, go down to the uh, heads up section, take a look at all of that stuff down there. Uh, there are a few things there. There are probably more things there than there are in the actual video. So definitely go and check that out because this week is a craptacular week full of nothing but garbage. Now let's go take a look at this week's gear mods. All right, guys, over at Camp Hudson, we have some electronics mods being sold with a score of 213 electronics and 3% damage to elites. Now, if you've been looking for these uh, damage to elites mods, and unfortunately, this is only at 3%, they do go up to 4%, uh, but you know, Four percenters are very rare. They are super, uber, extremely rare. They're about as rare as a virgin at an R. Kelly video shoot. Um, so, you know, if you see one of those, you definitely gotta, you know, pull up. But anyway, the, with this, you've got a, a 4% chance uh for damage to elites is is really going to be rare so if you see those do you know really do hold on to those but this having 213 electronics and three percent damage to elites is not bad i would say if you've been looking for something like this you don't have anything with better stat rolls definitely go ahead and try it out go and see what works for you but my question for you guys is are you looking more for firearms damage to elites um stamina damage to elites or are you looking for the electronics damage to elites let me know down below which one it is that you are most looking for and uh what kind of uh stats are you looking for it's kind of a base minimum because i, I shout these out like all the time and i don't really know if you guys are picking these up or if they're still on your bucket list of things that you're looking for so let me know because otherwise i might just stop talking about it because nobody's interested that's all i'm saying let me know 
At the vendor in DZ4, there is a stamina mod being sold this week with a very nice 265 stam and 1% critical hit chance. Now, if you've been looking for a stam with critical hit chance mod, if you missed them from way back when, this is a pretty nice one to go and check out. 265 is nothing to laugh at, 1% critical hit chance. You stack enough of these bad boys for that predator's mark or for even, uh, even if you want to use this for strikers, then this could work out very, very well well for you let me know if you decide to pick this up and uh, let me know what are your thoughts on the upcoming nerf to nomad and to predator but no nerf to striker uh, i put out a recent video for the state of the game review if you have not seen that go over and check that out uh, and yeah i'd love to hear what you guys uh, have to say about that and remember that the update is coming very very soon go check out that video for more information on that well, 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 in an odd turn event at Madison Stand, we have a 200 firearms, 3% damage to elite mod being sold this week. That's two damage to elite mods being sold this week, and both of them are at or over 200 in its respectable class. So 200 firearms 3% damage to elites this is pretty nice um i would you know of course like to have it over 200 and obviously i'd like to have it at 3% or 4% damage to elites but beggars can't be choosers and again this is some more you know magical rarities you may want to just at least take a look at it if, even if it's not your flavor then i would say at least go and take a look at it maybe hold on to some of these put them in your stash and then if you find something better later on down the road you can uh you know swap them out or just try it out if you've never used purple damage to elites mods for some pve stuff try it out it may be uh something that interests you so go ahead check it out let me know do you pick it up now it's time to wrap things up in the 284 plus gear score section in the base of operations at the weapons vendor we have a gear score 285 socom m1a now the reason that i'm bringing this up is to tell you don't buy this and uh, this is really just kind of a, an announcement for newer agents or people who are new to the game uh, when you think about your weapons and when you think about what you want to pick up especially from these vendor resets really take your time and take a look at what is this weapon what does it do well what is it intended for and what gear sets or what builds can i use this with now the reason i'm saying for most people to stay away from this is because of the talents now looking at it of course the gear score is very nice at 285 the headshot damage is great at 170 but looking at the talents we have meticulous killing a target has a 25 percent chance to instantly refill magazine uh, we also have determined in the second slot and then we have fierce in the third slot now fierce is in the third slot it's going to be free so we get an extra critical hit chance uh bump by five percent and then in the second slot we have determined where getting kills uh reduce your cooldown by 7.5 percent now this would be amazing if it was in the third slot just because that requirement for firearms and electronics is so uh, vast and so high so this makes it kind of difficult to work with now the thing about this is that because we have fierce fierce is going to give us extra critical hit chance the thing we'll want to put on here for some damage uh, more than likely is going to be deadly now if we have deadly on here then that would kind of push us towards what kind of a sniper build usually people like to use dead eye with these faster firing snipers but dead eye uh, as long as you zoom in you get 100 percent crit chance which makes fierce kind of redundant so the moral of the story is look at the talents, see what you can roll off, see what kind of builds work for you and what you could do with this, and then just kind of decide whether you think it's worth it. Um, even though Meticulous uh, is one of my favorite talents to have on like a larger magazine weapon, like an LMG or something like that, just because if you get that kill within that magazine, you don't have to reload. And it's just really nice. You also don't use any of your own bullets, which is, which is great. But you know, that on this kind of weapon with these kinds of talents don't really work out uh, as far as I can see. Uh, if there were some different talents on this, this may be better, but personally, I would tell people to stay away from this, but I just wanted to give this bit of information and kind of heads up to some of the newer agents or some of the people who are still struggling with figuring out um, how to make their builds and what kind of talents they want to have on their weapons. We all know that deadly, brutal, responsive, um, 
and a whole list of others predatory unforgiven those are like really popular talents and they're popular for a reason and some of these other ones are not that ta not that popular um not because they're bad but just because when you try to think of the synergy and when you're making your bills sometimes they just don't really make sense and they don't really add up and you can't often uh switch out talents as easily and frequently as you can in some other games so just kind of keep that as a heads up and uh yeah stay away from this all right guys that is it for this week's episode of good or garbage episode 114 um, i know that there weren't any good things for sale this week and i am not in charge of that so please don't complain to me like like i can control what's good or what's not i know that this was a terrible one so yeah it just is what it is thank you guys for helping me to get to 7,000 subs if you want to support the channel you can always rock some merch uh if you just want to be helpful uh you know just hit the like button make sure that you're subscribed hit that bell for notifications share videos that also helps out a lot uh doesn't cost you anything but i do appreciate the support thank you guys e3 is coming soon uh check out the uh state of the game video that i made and uh, i will see you guys soon take it easy have a great weekend <laughs>